Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Pryaxis, and I'm back with another one. We're going to be showcasing another five star iconic fighter that EA added, and he goes by the name of Michael the Count Bisbig. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it, and let's go over his perks. You see, he has wake up call, recharger, marathoner higher altitude and untouchable feel free to pause the video if you want to read each one of those individually okay then we're going to go over to the stand-up stats and some things that stand out is the punch speed the footwork the head movement doesn't have crazy power has good accuracy the kick speed and the kick power are not that great they're not bad well the kick power is bad the kick speed is fine and um that's really about it the switch dance is bad so don't want to be leg kicked we go over to the grappling stats and you see this is horrible <laughs> everything is not good so we really don't want to be uh taken down or controlled on the ground so it's gonna 100 percent try to not go to the ground especially if we go against somebody using a wrestler we're gonna have to have a one takedown defense okay if we go over to the health stats now he has a 98 cardio which we're going to definitely be looking to take advantage of the chin is 93 which is fine the body 91 the legs are 91 and the recovery is 93 so everything's about fair there really good on the cardio especially i mean it's michael best when we all know he has real good cardio in real life and um everything's about fair as far as the health stats we go over to his top moves the lead hook left hook larry <laughs> the rear hook is level three the body roundhouse level three the jab is level three and, and then the low kick is level three and you can see michael bisbee may be five stars but i don't think michael bisbee is as good as the other five stars like Silva or GSP. He's probably just five stars again because he's a legendary fighter. I don't think his stats really show five star worthy of uh of stats, but it is what it is. We're gonna go ahead and jump into practice mode and go over each move and then we're gonna jump into some ranked games. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're gonna click start, scroll down to game help, view moves. Let me look at the jab level three, cross level three, okay, the hook. We knew that what that was. Okay, so you see here everything is either level three or level two on no matter what punch or elbow as you see here. So he has some fair boxing. Uh, it's not going to be crazy good, but it's going to be pretty fair with Bisping. And we go over to his kicks. He has the calf kick level three and then level three on the body roundhouse. And most of these things are level two. The knee is level three. Okay, and the lead kick as well. Question mark kick level two. He also has a lead body switch kick, which I'm definitely going to utilize. I'll go against somebody playing on the back foot. Then we go over to the clinch, and you see not not nothing stands out too much with the clinch. I mean, the clinch knees to the head are level three. And uh, clinch knees to the body, clinch knees to the legs. Basically, the knees, period, are going to be level three strikes. But other than that, he doesn't have anything crazy as far as clinch. We know he's not a wrestler, so we know he's, we're not going to be using no takedowns. So we're going to go ahead and skip past that. We go to the ground and pound, and his ground straights and his ground hooks are both level three. So his ground and pound, let's say you get a finish the fight type of sequence, it actually will be uh, pretty decent uh, with Michael Bisping. We go over to the submissions, and you see level two arm bars, level one guillotines, and level one orthodox chokes. So definitely not going to be looking for any submissions. Then we go over to the combos. You see he has level three boxing combinations, level two kickboxing, level two Muay Thai. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into some ranked matches, and uh, I'll break down the matchup and stuff like that based on who we're going against, and we're going to have some fun, all right? If you haven't yet, be sure to hit the like button, because we're going to have some fun with the biz thing, all right? Let's go. Okay, so I did have to switch from Xbox to PlayStation due to I couldn't find any matches on Xbox. Right now on Xbox, uh, I am number one in the world, and I was, if you guys were in my stream last night, I was trying to get number one in the world on both consoles, so I'm on PlayStation now. Uh, we currently haven't lost a game in ranked, so that's a positive. But we're going to get to Anderson Silva, and the most obvious things to know is I have better cardio, and he has better kickboxing, right? So what do I do in this matchup? Well, I either stay out of kicking range completely, or I stay in the pocket where I will be more effective. But here's the problem with doing that. It's uh, it's Anderson Silva, so he has some real good, some real good knees, real good clinch. So it's going to be tough dealing with him. But uh, it's a three-round fight. So I'm just going to um, try to, you know, do some work based off of uh, what he does. And see, he's, he's throwing a little bit crazy. Um, nothing. Okay, nice front kicks. Okay. And I'm okay with sitting in the pocket versus him. 
And I, I well, actually, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of pressure on this guy because it's a three round fight. And I know 110% my cardio is going to be good. And just because I know how to manage my cardio. Now, I got to watch out for him throwing that jumping kick to the body. Oh, that jumping kick to my body. Because it does uh, pretty good damage. And if he catches me, uh, like, mid-vulnerability. See, there goes those knees I was talking about. There goes the front kick. Nice. Nice little combo landed there. Oh, my. Okay. Let's back up. You see, he's putting in some work right now. There go that kick I was talking about. Now, uh, I'm going to go back to his body. He's probably going to throw, like, a front kick. Front kick. Oh, no. Okay. Um, What he did was he threw that kick, right? And it'll always go uh, towards that lead uh, leg. So, if you walk the opposite direction. Anderson Silva shooting takedowns? If you walk the opposite direction, they'll actually whiff. And you'll be able to uh, see right there. See how it went towards this direction. Because that's his lead leg. Okay. Front kick. Okay. We get off the center line of that strike. Boom. <laughs> and mixed him up and knocked him out, man. That fight was a was a real good fight. Um, Unfortunately, he got caught. But a lot of times you see how I caught him. Uh, you know, I evaded a strike. He throwing those straight strikes down the line. They kept him, made him real vulnerable. And I was able to land some hooks, man. So, if you go again, if you go against people that like to throw front kicks or like to throw those jump kicks to the body, man, just if you can sidestep. And even if you want, don't want to, like, walk in a direction, if you can flick your left stick, like, trying to evade it, flick it up or down, and you time it right, you'll evade that strike, throw a hook, and... You can do some damage. <laughs> but hey, go to go ahead and move on to the next fight, guys. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit the like button. All right, let's go. All right, now we're going against another, <laughs> another um Anderson Silva, and he's used to pretty much a bit in this weight class now. I mean, he's pretty damn good, pretty damn good. So I'm not surprised. But same thing, man. We got to fight based off how he is uh, going to uh, fight this fight. I believe it's going to be a three round fight. Let me see. Yeah, okay, three-round fight. I'll try to put a little pressure on him, but you got to be careful because, again, Anderson has the spinning kicks, got crazy knees, crazy elbows. But I'm definitely willing to trade. We rock him here. Let's go to the body. And I'm just mainly going to be boxing with Michael Bisping. Doing jabber hook. We're going to put that in the bank. Okay, he throws a low kick. We're going to put that in our bank. And a lot of times you got to say these things out loud. Boom, go to his body. Jabber hook. There goes the jabber hook again. Now, he's not going anything. He's not going low after a punch to up top. So, I can keep that in mind. Well, he hasn't yet, right? He goes high. high. Oh, that goes high. Then he's going to jab, go back high. Then he's high. See what I mean? He's not. This guy right here. Boom, we rock him here. Go to the body. Nice. Go to the body. And you just want to mix people up when you're boxing. Like, if I land something significant up top, I have a, a greater chance to land something down low because now you're thinking about that. And that's just that's just fighting one-on-one, -on -one, you know what I mean? If, I, if you get hit with a good shot, you're probably going to block where you was hit at. It's just natural. And it sets up you to land other stuff in other spots, man. And that's why when I rock people, I'll go to your body. Like, I don't have to... You know what I'm saying? I don't have to attack your head. I can attack your body and make the fight even harder for you. And you can see this guy, uh, he's not utilizing Anderson Silva's best, you know, his tools, like his um like his kicks. Uh I mean a front kick. Clinching, he isn't doing it, it's just boxing. And I'm looking for the jabber hook, and I'm going to pull a counter and throw a hook. There goes a the body shot. Okay. Go to the body. Jabber hook. Okay. Jab lead hook. We're going to let him back up. Okay. And you can see I'm willing to trade because 
If you didn't know, if, I'm going to tell you something. If you guys didn't know, the longer the fighter reaches, the slower they are in the pocket with the punches. So pe that's why people like DC, like they feel so fast because they're, his reach. Compared to like John Jones. Boom. Let's go ahead and jump on him here. Try to get to finish. Yeah, that's it. Good fight. Okay. Let's try to posture up. He doesn't deny it. Get back up to the feet. Jab real hook. That's what I'm looking for. Nope. There you go. That's good. That was a good mix up. That was a good mix up. How he went. He went the the he limited the rear hook and then he went jab cross mixing me up. Got me thinking, okay, well now he's gonna go uh now he's gonna go, you know, jab real hook again. But no, he mixed it up by throwing two straight strikes, caught me while I pulled back. And then mixed it back up to something else after that. I like that. Okay, he got us waiting. So while we're waiting, I guess we can go ahead and check the fight stats. And it's obvious that I won that round. But real good efficient striking. Threw 88. Landed 47. I definitely will take that. Okay. Stamina's full. Health stats are looking good. Jab cross. There we go. Boom. Now, we kind of adjusted to what he was doing, right? Usually, he was throwing um, jab or hook. Or the cross followed by the lead hook. But then he switched it up to throwing jabs and crosses. And we adjusted to that right there. Took a chance. Slip. And threw the cross. Got the rock. Boom. And that's the combo I was talking about. Those jab or hook and... I was willing to take the chances on good fight. I was willing to take those chances on pulling back and landing that counter based off calculated assumptions early on in the fight or in the first round. He throws a jab or hook, he threw the jab cross, and he's just reading his strikes and what he was throwing and uh, taking my chances to land the counter. And I actually was able to get it. That was clean. So that's it there. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next fight, guys. Again, if you're enjoying it, don't forget to hit the like button, okay? Let's move forward. Okay. Another. <laughs> another Michael Biss thing, man. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. It's a, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with everyone using Michael Biss thing, but, I mean, I'll take it. I mean, not using Biss thing, but using Silver. But I'll take it, man. Same thing. Same thing applies. Not a lot of guys are using Anderson Silva correctly. I dropped a video on Anderson Silva as well on how to use him. But we'll see if uh, Germs TV, well, Germs Twitch TV, can use Anderson Silva the right way. It's a three round fight. Go to the body. And you guys can see what I mean. Body, body. High kick. But you see how I land? I can land a jab and a cross. And that's, you know, some pretty good strikes. A jab or a hook. Let's go to his body now. Because he's thinking up top. Then we're going to go back. To, we went down low. Then we're going to go back up top. We went up top. Go to the body. And it's just a consistent mixture of strikes, man. And it's going high. Going low. Then I go back high there. Because he usually thinks I'm going to go low after I go high. It's just a consistent mix up, man. Getting him thinking about what you're throwing. Nice. Okay. Yeah. See, here's the thing a lot of people are doing with Anderson Silva. They're fighting in a pocket, and Silva isn't a pocket fighter. If you're going to fight in a pocket, you need to utilize your knees, your elbows, and the clinch. Otherwise, you're not going to be fighting efficient with Anderson Silva. Michael Bisping gets made for this boxing stuff. And too many people are trying to box with Silva. I get go to the body. On top of that, like I said before, his okay. There you go. See, that's what he needs to do. Utilize those those knees, man. There you go. And that too. Don't be afraid to clinch people, bro. I know people hate clinch clinch spammers, but if I, I if I clinch you. That was nice. Go to his body. But I'm really mixing him up right now. But don't be afraid to clinch, guys. You're Anderson Silva. Obviously, don't spam it. Don't be a 
one of those type of players, but you're Anderson Silva. Like, your biggest tool, you're not utilizing it. And you can see me, I'm utilizing what my biggest tool is, is cardio. I'm putting a pace on this guy in this fight. Nice. That's what you gotta do, man. You gotta fight on the outside, use your jabs and your crosses, utilize your reach advantage as you have. Jab, cross, uppercut, throws a knee. Go to the body. Go to the body. Go to the body. There you go. There you go. <laughs> But I'm, I'm uh, trading with him a little bit more than I need to, but I'm willing to do so because of my boxing ability. That was a really good round. Very, very good round. All right. You guys can see my cardio is good. My head health is good. Punch, punch. Going to throw him down, make him lose even more stamina. Okay. One, two, three, two. Body, body. Boom, we rocking here. We're going to go up top this time. There we go. You see how we usually been going to the body? Now we go up top. Go to the body. Go to the body. Boom. You see how I moved to the to the uh, the opposite direction of that kick? I was able to get the drop uh, the drop. Okay. And uh it won't take too much. He's probably gonna get flash KO. If I continue to play, you know to the success rate that I am playing on with landing strikes. There you go. That You got to do stuff like that, man. When you're using silver. Like I said, obviously you don't want to be a cheeser player and just spam it, but it's just how you got to play with silver, especially when you get in the inside. There you go. There you go. That's what you got to do, man. You realize them knees, bro, they're level five. <laughs> Nice. Drop him down again. Okay. Nice. Boom. That was it. Jab, jab, real hook. Land it clean. Fresh, clean knockout, man. Fresh, clean knockout, bro. GG's for sure. Um, yeah, you just gotta, when you're using silver, you really gotta play careful, especially when you're going against boxers like Bisping or Whitaker. You really want to play from the outside, utilize your advantage that you have with kicks. Kick, box, kick, box, 100%. You can box a little bit, but you mainly want to kick box. You don't want to trade too much. Look to counter, look to frustrate your opponent. That's what Anderson Silva does in real life, and that's what you should do with him in UFC 4. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Let's try to do about one more fight, and then, uh, We'll be done with this how to use Michael Bisping video, okay? Be right back. Okay, so I actually switched back to Xbox because I wanted to try to get a high-level fight, but unfortunately we got somebody Division 12, but I believe this guy is actually a Division 20 player. I could be completely wrong, but he's going with the Robert Whitaker pick, which is, you know, the usual pick before this update, before uh, Silva came along. But this fight here, it's kind of based upon, because these guys are kind of similar as far as the stats and stuff Rob Whitaker is obviously the better kickboxer but um so in this one here it's really more so about making reads and trying to see what your opponent is doing but you notice uh me personally I'm I'm 100% I like to work the cardio and you can see that's I mean I work the body health to work the cardio go up top go down low nice now, he made a mistake there, and the mistake that he's making is throwing these high kicks, and I'm, I'm able to block him and uh, end with a counter. Okay. 
body. You guys can notice how I'm landing a lot of body shots here. Hopefully he doesn't keep throwing these. Oh my. He got to stop throwing these kicks. You see how he's throwing those kicks from far away? And uh, it's easy to see them and it's easy to counter them. Nice overhand. Go to the body. Go to the body. Oh, nice. Let me back up. I don't want to trade again. Let my health recover. And you guys notice, man, with my boxes, I don't have crazy boxing combinations. Well, maybe to me, I don't. Maybe to you guys, I do. But I really keep my boxing combinations real crispy. Nice hook. Jab. Jab. And you see how he's being more successful, not throwing the crazy high kicks and stuff. He's calmed down on those. Hopefully, he doesn't. He threw it, but he kind of caught me with it. So, can't be mad at that. One, two, three, two. We rock him here. I'm going to throw a roundhouse to the body. I missed it. Okay. Flying Superman. I mean, not flying Superman. <laughs> Superman punch. Two hooks. Okay. Push him back with the front kick. Go to the body. And you can see I'm not throwing like power punches or nothing. I'm just consistently landing strikes on this uh, Robert Whitaker player. Nice dab cross. That was did some damage. Nice head movement. But you can notice. Oh my goodness. I'm, like, is he not noticing the why I'm such a. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to miss that. I thought he was going to. Uh, I thought he was going to miss that kick. But he's. I hope he's noticing that. He's. All these kicks. Oh my. Gosh. Come on, man. The reason why I'm landing on all these powerful shots counters is because he's throwing these kicks from far away moving forward and it's just so predictable. I see them coming every time. Look at that blood. Look at that cut above his uh, right eye. Okay, here we go. But I got a few knockdowns and I hurt his chin based upon him throwing these crazy kicks, man. When he's not doing those kicks and he's also getting caught in the pocket. Body. Try to go to the body. Push him down. Go to the body. Body. Nice. 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 He just doesn't need to throw those kicks from far away, man. It's really getting him in trouble. Really, it's kicks, period. I, I think this guy needs to work on his kick timing because he's not utilizing very good kick timing. Okay. Go to the body. Go to the body. Go up top. He's still rock, still hurting, so we're going to throw a body roundhouse right there. And then we're going to mix him up. All right. We rock him here. Yeah, it, it's kind of like the beginning of the end with this matchup. Good night. It's kind of like the beginning of the end, man. Uh, and it all started in the first round with what, you know what I mean? What he did with those kicks. He's probably going to throw another high kick. Nope. Nice spinning elbow. Good night. Okay. There we go. And I just want to be careful. I don't want to be countered even when he's rocked. Because I know 100% I can get the finish. We'll drop him here. One, two. Faint that. Oh, that's going to hurt. We rock him here. Jab cross. Body round. House. He throws a high kick. Hook. Nice. Good night. That was it right there.
That was it right there. Left hook Larry. <laughs> Left hook Larry, man. Left hook Larry. Hey, man, good fight, bro. Um, Again, it's just the, the small adjustments fighters have to make within the game that determines, you know, a high-level player and then a player that is really above all. It's making the small adjustments and noticing why stuff is happening and adjusting to that. And uh, unfortunately, he did... He did not do that. He, he kept throwing those high kicks that was missing or whiffing and throwing body roundhouses and throwing kicks too close and allowing me to land combinations that was actually powerful and I was able to rock him multiple times and just get him out of there in a second. So, hey, it is what it is, man. Good fight, bro. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button again. It helps out the channel. We're on the way to 50,000 subscribers, man. Okay? But with that being said, I need you boys to stay up, stay blessed, and keep moving forward. And I love you guys. Peace.